Following her performance in Monsters Ball, Halle Berry became the first African-American woman to win the Academy Award for Best Actress. She has also appeared in the movie Swordfish, Die Another Day, Gothica and the X-Men series. Stay tuned because today's video is dedicated to her life, career and of course her luxurious car collection. Berry was born on the 14th of August 1966 in Cleveland, Ohio as Maria Halle Berry. She officially changed her name to Halle Maria Berry when she was five years old. Her middle name was chosen by her parents as Halle's department store was a Cleveland landmark at the time. After her parents' divorce, Berry enrolled at Bedford High School in Bedford, Ohio, where she excelled academically and served as prom queen and editor of the school newspaper. Before she became an actor, she worked as a model and participated in a number of beauty pageants. She is the daughter of an English-German mother and an African-American father, which accounts for her uncommon beauty. She competed in beauty pageants at a young age, felt good about herself and won the Miss Teen All-American pageant. After finishing as first runner-up in the Miss USA pageant, she went on to become a model. She had a part in the television series Living Dolls before moving on to the big screen. She received an opportunity for a small part in Jungle Fever by Spike Lee. She has won the hearts of many people with her passion and dedication to her job. She has a reputation as an artist who gives her all to everything she does. She succeeded in becoming a superstar, something that female African-American actors had previously been unable to do. Berry portrayed the mutant superhero Storm in the movie adaptations of the X-Men comic book series and its sequels X2, X-Men The Last Stand and X-Men Days of Future Past. Berry participated in the film Swordfish, which had her first topless scene. Berry initially objected to appearing topless in a sunbathing scene, but she eventually agreed. She received an additional half a million dollars from Warner Brothers for the brief piece, which is what caused her to change her mind. Berry denied the charges though. She asserted that after turning down several roles that called for complexity, she decided to do Swordfish because her then husband, Eric Benet, supported her and pushed her to take chances. She gained notoriety for playing Letitia Musgrove, a lady whose husband was executed, in the movie Monsters Ball. She received widespread recognition for her role, solidifying her status as one of Hollywood's most sought-after performers. For her role in the movie Monsters Ball, she became the first woman of African-American heritage to receive an Academy Award for Best Actress in a Leading Role. In the Oprah Winfrey-produced ABC television drama Their Eyes Were Watching God, based on Zora Neale Hurston's novel, Berry played a free-spirited woman whose unorthodox sexual customs angered her 1920s peers in a small village. This was Berry's second film role. She received a second Primetime Emmy Award nomination for her performance. When compared to seasoned actresses with successful films and a well-earned reputation, Halle Berry may hold her head high. Can she, however, maintain that pride when we're discussing automobiles? Given her present net worth of over $80 million, Halle Berry has chosen her indulgences without hesitation. Her net worth includes homes in Beverly Hills, Malibu Beach, Hollywood Hills and Canada, a $200,000 emerald ring, and of course, automobiles. With that said, let's see what car she has in her collection. Here are five cars we can see in Halle Berry's garage. Number five, the Lexus RX 450. Halle Berry has freely stated that this is one of her favorite vehicles. More often than any of her other vehicles, the action star has been seen driving her white Lexus RX 450h. It is not unexpected that the $40,970 Lexus revives the concept of the mother figure that Halle Berry played in her 2017 film Kidnap, given her history of speaking up for children and charities. That was a Chrysler, of course, but you get the idea. The five-door SUV has a reputation for dependability and acceptable performance that other mothers can deliver. The hybrid Lexus RX 450h 
is a luxury SUV with a fantastic pairing of a powerful engine and hybrid technology. A 3.5 litre engine with 270 horsepower and 335 newton meters of torque powers the Lexus RX 450h. The ECVT transmission connects the drive line to all four wheels and provides a constant variation in speed and torque. The car can go from 0 to 60 miles an hour in 7.7 seconds. One of the first SUVs in Halley's garage was this one. Number 4. The Honda CRV. Her ownership of a Honda CRV only strengthens Halle Berry's love of SUVs and the comfort they offer. Owning a fourth generation compact runabout vehicle only serves to highlight Halle's commitment to comfort. The vehicle has been hailed as one of the best leisure vehicles in recent years. When seen driving her Honda CRV, Halle Berry can be mistaken for a car model because of how well suited her beauty is to the blue grey vehicle. She was hardly seen in this automobile without her two children, which may have contributed to her preference for the SUV. The CRV might not be the world's most motherly vehicle, but it offers enough legroom for two growing children to enjoy a relaxing ride with their famous mother. The 2.4 litre i VTEC inline four engine in Halle Berry's fourth generation CRV makes roughly 185 horsepower and 163 pound feet of torque. The car has an advanced control system and a five speed automatic transmission with all wheel drive. Number three, the Lincoln Navigator. Her Lincoln Navigator is proof of Halle Berry's sense of style and refinement. She has maintained her preference for the rugged exterior of the third generation Lincoln Navigator since she was first seen arriving in one in 2010. The Lincoln Navigator's four incarnations have established themselves as some of Ford's largest vehicles, and the 2022 model will have even more features. The 2022 Lincoln Navigator, according to Ford, will mark the beginning of the intelligent driving age. It would be surprising if Halle Berry hadn't pre-ordered this model given its intricate design. The room and elegance of this car are useful. It is one of the biggest SUVs and is very expensive. A V6 turbo 3.5 litre engine with 450 horsepower and 677 newton meters of torque is included in the high price. The American actress spent almost $90,000 on it. Number two the BMW 740i. Full-size luxury sedans have been produced and sold as the BMW 7 Series since 1977 by the German automaker BMW. It is presently in its sixth iteration and is the replacement for the BMW E3 new 6 sedan. BMW's flagship 7 Series, which comes in long wheelbase and limousine variants, is solely offered as a sedan. It usually debuts exterior design themes and new technologies before other cars in the BMW series. In April 2022, the BMW 7 Series made its debut. It comes in six-cylinder 740i and V8 760i variants, as well as an electric derivative called the BMW i7. It adopts the brand new horizontally split headlamp units that were introduced on the new X7 in April 2022 as well. A three litre inline six cylinder BMW twin power turbo gasoline engine powers the BMW 740i Sedan. She decided on the BMW 760i X-Drive Sedan's 4.4 litre V8 BMW twin power turbo gasoline engine for more power. The vehicle is capable of traveling at a top speed of 155 miles an hour. Number one, the Aston Martin V8 Volant. From 1969 to 1989, Aston Martin produced the Grand Tourer known as the V8 in the United Kingdom. It was totally handcrafted like all conventional Aston Martins, taking 1,200 man hours to complete each vehicle. Aston Martin had created a larger, more athletically pleasing vehicle to replace the DB6 model. The manufacturer still introduced the DBS in 1967 with the straight six Vantage engine from the DB6 since the engine was not yet available. 
When Tadic Merrick's V8 was prepared two years later, Aston released the DBS V8. The DBS V8, which has been restyled and was now known simply as the Aston Martin V8 for nearly two decades, replaced the straight six Vantage as the company's mainstream vehicle in 1973. Despite having the Series 4 bonnet from the beginning, the convertible Volant debuted in June 1978, a few months before the coupe received the Oscar India facelift. Due to the need to reinforce the structure, the Volant Series 1 is 155 pounds heavier than the coupe. A V8 Volant at this time required roughly four months to produce from start to finish. Beginning with the 1980 model year, US market automobiles gained substantially larger bumpers, which added weight and slightly altered the car's looks. Cars built in the US are frequently modified by their owners to include the smaller European bumpers. Due to the success of the Volant, solely individual demand was used to build the coupe variant by 1981. Additionally, the 1980s were tuned to offer a 30% increase in fuel efficiency. Possibly the most attractive Aston Martin ever made is the long chassis V8 Volant. This gives Halley's garage a vintage feel. The vehicle has a 5.3 litre 5 speed manual V8 engine that was designed by Tadek Marek. And with that, we finish with her crazy luxurious car collection. Finally, I'd like to share one of my favourite quotes from the star of today's video. The times may have changed, but the people are still the same. We're still looking for love, and that will always be our struggle as human beings. Each of us have unique life objectives and aspirations that are distinct from those of others. There is one element that unites us all, the basic yearning to love and be loved, truly and unreservedly. All of us are looking for this love. Humans are wired to yearn for and seek out things like these. Even when you feel like giving up, or that you don't want to find it, deep down you are still searching everywhere for this love. You are still holding out hope and yearning for it in your heart. Thank you for watching this episode. If you want to see other celebrity car collections, let me know in the comments below. Please make sure you like and subscribe to this video and channel, since that will help us make more content like this for you to enjoy.